हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम अंकित एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम हियर विद माय डेली प्रोडिक्शंस फॉर गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर वील सी विद द हेल्प ऑफ कैंडल स्टिक चार्ट एंड इंडिकेटर्स व्हाट कुड बी एक्सपेक्टेड आउट ऑफ दीज टू मेटल्स टुडे थ्रू आउट द डे बिफोर आई कम अप विद माय नेक्स्ट एनालिसिस फॉर गोल्ड जस्ट बिफोर द यू एस कैशन अलॉन्ग विद डाउ जोस एंड नेस्डेक एनालिसिस टू सो डो नॉट फॉर्गेट टू वॉच टिल दी एंड फर्स्ट वील लुक इन टू गोल्ड फॉलोअर विद सिल्वर एंड डो नॉट फॉर्गेट टू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट एंड डो नॉट फॉर्गेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दट यू कैन रिमेन अपडेटेड विद द लेटेस्ट एनालिसिस द अदर एनालिसिस ऑफ नेचुरल गैस क्रूड ऑयल डाउज नेस्डेक फुटी हंड्रेड जर्मनी एंड निफ्टी फिफ्टी इज ऑल्सो साइमल्टेनियसली रिलीज डू वॉच दोज ऑल्सो लेट स्टार्ट द डे विद गोल्ड फर्स्ट सी गोल्ड इज ऑन द आर्ली चार्ज इज गिविंग हायर लोज इंडिकेटिंग दे इज support they are see 1847 48 zone again proving out to be a strong support for gold at the same time see this 200 hours moving average here giving it a resistance at 1854 so i'll again recommend you to go long at 1855 but remember there is a stronger resistance at 1858 and 1860 levels so beyond 1855 one can again expect it to hit 1858 1860 zone which is going to give it a stronger resistance beyond that we can see a rise till towards 1865 levels so this is what we can see on the hourly charts also if you look at the hourly chart the direction movement is bearish the stochastic is near to overbought and it is trying to cross over for a sell macd is trying to converge for a bullish move here and the rsi is also looking upwards similarly if you look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts on the two hour chart see it has created a base here it is now creating a higher base at the same time there is a rejection on the upside it is at it around 1840 54 levels so i'll recommend you to go long at 1855 keeping a dollar cushion and then you can expect it to rise till towards 1858 1860 and 1862 these three levels and 1865 so very nearby resistance is on the upside and if you keep trading with the support and the stop loss at cost at around 1855 levels if you enter at those levels on the downside similarly i'll recommend you to go short below 1845 see if it comes out of this zone and breaks on the downside once it breaks below 1845 definitely one can remain short for 1840 and below levels it is going to be on the downside and if you look at the directional movement on the two hour charts is bearish the stochastic was oversold now looking slightly upwards and look at the macd the macd is bearish it is trying to converge here and the rsi is sloping upwards here too Similarly, if you look at the three-hour charts, on the three-hour charts, higher lows are getting created, but the highs are getting resistance at around 1854. That is what is something I will be watchful of, and that is what gives gives me confidence that if it breaks out either of this side, that is beyond 1855 or below 1845, we can get a directional strong directional move on the either sides. The directional movement here is bearish. The stochastic is oversold, and hence probably we may see a little rise. the macd has just entered to sell side four candles back and it is trying to converge and cross over for a bullish move the rsi is trading flat right now and if you look at the four hour charts on the four hour charts higher lows are getting created now the support at 1850 the resistance here at this zone that is 1854 levels and accordingly i have said one can go short either at 1845 or go long at 1855 do not trade in between these Ten dollars, and that is what is indicated right now. It appears we might see a bullish move in gold. Directional movement is bearish. The stochastic is oversold here, indicating probably a little reversal on the upside can be expected. However, the MACD has just crossed over three candles back. It requires strong, a uh, greener candle for it to again converge and cross over for a bullish move. RSI is trading flat, and if you look at the daily charts, on the daily charts you can see the. higher lows are getting created 1850 is the support here and yes on the upside it is getting a resistance at around 1855 once it breaks past 1855 one can again go long for 1860 1865 levels and in fact it can try to achieve higher highs that is at around 1870 75 levels so and if you look at the Directional movement is bullish. The stochastic is over near to over bottom. It is curving down, indicating a probable uh, downside on there. But I have to be one have to be very very watchful on stochastic alone. The direction uh, MACD is green. The MACD is bullish, and it is trading flat, indicating slight bullishness there. RSI is trading flat. So see, I'll recommend you to stay long. That is what is apparent here. I'll i would recommend you to stay long with the stop loss at 1850 levels and one can remain long for 
62 and 1865 level these are the next three targets probably it can continue to rise till there but do not remain long once it is below 1850 once it is below 1850 and specifically below 1845 i will ask you to go short one has to remain short below 1845 levels close your long go short at 1845 for a target of 1840 1836 and 1830 levels below that sky is the limit it can drop heavily till towards 1824 20 zone on the upside once it breaks past 1855 one can expect that it is going to hit 1858 1860 to 65 and beyond that we will see it hitting 1871 and 1880 levels so take your positions accordingly do not trade between 1845 and 1855 levels let this 10 dollars still take the direction however largely if you are long one can remain long with this stop loss at 1850 levels take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at silver silver giving a breakout on the hourly chart see it is traded in this zone for long 2180 is the support rather i will say 2190 is the support with that a support it has given a breakout on the hourly chart and it is trying to rise strongly 2220 is the next resistance then 2230 and 2240 these three levels are very important for silver to sustain below if it sustains below this we can still expect it to drop however below beyond that i'll be largely bullish for the near future the direction movement has crossed over for a bullish move the stochastic is entering into overbought levels the macd is trying to converge here on the hourly charts and cross over for a bullish move the rsi is also looking upwards similarly if you look at the two hour charts a breakout higher lows and a breakout here with that breakout it is trying to rise the next resistance from the 20 period moving average at around 20 20 and from the charts at around 20 you can see here as i said 2240 levels 2230 levels should provide a little resistance on the upside and directional movement is crossed over for a bullish move the stochastic is looking upward the macd is trying to converge and cross over and rsi is also looking upward similarly if you look so once again on the 2 hour charts the macd is uh, directional movement is crossed over for a bullish move the macd are stochastic is looking upwards the macd is trying to converge here for a bullish move and the rsi is also looking upward similarly if you look at the 3 hour charts on the 3 hr charts too this is given a breakout it has consolidated here and with the support at 2190 it has given a breakout it is trying to rise and probably the next resistance is 2220 which is a strong support then 2240 levels will come into picture so i'll be watchful of this any breakout beyond 2240 2250 will be a very strong bullish move and very strong rise in silver for the rest of the week the directional movement has crossed over on the 3 hr charts to for a bullish move 3 hr charts are oversold it is trying to bounce back and look at the macd it is trying to converge the rsi is looking upside too similarly if you look at the 4 hr charts uh, first green candle it is consolidated here a smaller green then a reversal has appeared so probably from here we can see fewer more green candles in silver and then 2240 2250 to zone is achievable beyond that we may see a stronger rise the directional movement is trying to cross it has crossed over for a bullish move the stochastic was oversold now looking upwards the macd is trying to converge again and cross over for a bullish move rsi is looking upwards indicating little bullishness here in silver and if you look at the weekly charts on the weekly charts higher lows are getting created stop loss at 2191 one can remain long probably it is trying to achieve higher highs the 2240 2250 and 2260 levels are something which i will be watchful of which are the next resistance zone see also if you look largely on the silver chart what it is trying to do it is still in this bullish zone it is trying to trade in this channel the upside of this channel is at around 2280 2300 level which is a stronger resistance so 2300 is potentially achievable it can continue to rise till there in this week also we may see a little bullish move only till at the time it trades above 2180 below 2180 we will be reversing our judgment and we will be going short from there but however till the time it trades above 2180 one can expect that silver is going to hit 2280 and 2300 level the first resistance is 2250 and 2260 zone then 2280 and 2300 if it breaks past 2300 sky is the limit on the upside we can see a sharper rise on the upside directional movement is bullish here on the daily charts the stochastic however is looking downwards it is crossed over it is sloping downwards so after today's candle we will be watching how it goes at else it wise it may reverse again for a or to enter into oversold levels the macd is trading parallel trading green the 
RSI is also looking upwards. Considering this, for the day, for the rest of the week, with the stop loss at 2191, can remain long on silver. The target is 2220, 2240, 2250, and beyond that, we may see it going till towards 2280, 2300. It can rise till towards 2300. That is the potential upside for this trading channel. Take your positions accordingly and do trade always with the stop loss. Put the trailing stop loss or manually put the stop loss to cost that is your entry price such that you can always preserve your capital. If you have your capital, you can always trade again. Reach or trade accordingly. Reach out to me for more details. My next batch is starting on 13th of June now and you can reach me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, my join my free telegram channel. The link is mentioned in the video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day. Thank you.